Come with me on a journey. It's not far. In galactic terms, it's our next door neighbour. So then, come with me to the exoplanet orbiting Proxima Centauri. And while we're there, we can pop in at the planning department on Alpha Centauri, just to make sure. Ready? Let's go. Just 4.37 light years away lies the triple star system of Alpha Centauri. The two largest stars, Alpha Centauri A and B, are yellow and orange stars similar to our Sun. They orbit around their common centre of mass every 80 years. And orbiting these two, about 0.2 light years away, is a small red Class M star called Proxima Centauri, which, due to its orbit, is currently the closest star to our own Sun at 4.2 light years. It's Proxima Centauri that I want to concentrate on. This is a small red dwarf, with only about 12% the mass of our Sun, and much less luminosity. Orbiting at about 7.5 million kilometres is the planet Proxima Centauri b. It orbits the star in 11.2 days, and even though it is very close to the star, because of the small size of Proxima Centauri, that puts it slap bang in the habitable zone. Well, it puts it in the zone where liquid water may exist. I'll talk about its habitability in a little bit. The planet looks like it's a rocky planet, similar to Earth, with a radius somewhere between 1.07 and 1.3 times that of the Earth, and a mass a little over 1.5 times that of the Earth. And this means that gravity on Proxima Centauri b will probably be very similar to the gravity here on Earth. Due to its close proximity to the star, it may well be tidally locked, with one face permanently pointed towards its sun. Though this isn't certain and Proxima Centauri b could spin very slowly in relation to its star, meaning that a day of roughly two Centauran years could exist. Due to the planet's location, even though Proxima Centauri is a lot dimmer than our Sun, giving even the day side a permanent twilight feel, the planet would be bathed in high levels of radiation. This would make it more difficult for life to develop and survive. These solar winds could easily blow away any atmosphere that developed, leaving the world sterile and lifeless. Also, Proxima Centauri is a flare star. This means that due to magnetic activity in the star, it's subject to occasional violent solar storms, leading to massive solar flare activity. One such flare in 2016 increased the brightness of Proxima Centauri eight times, even though this would still not have increased the illumination levels on Proxima b to anything like those here on Earth. However, having said that, if Proxima b has a strong magnetic field that could offer protection against the radiation, it could lead to the planet having a well-developed atmosphere. If that was the case, even if the planet was tidally locked, then an atmosphere could help to transmit heat from the day side to the night side, evening out the temperature over the whole planet a little. The night side would still be cooler than the day side, but the differences wouldn't be quite as extreme as on planets like Mercury. So, could we live there? Well, even getting there is currently way beyond our technological reach. But, let's assume for a minute that we did have a means of getting to Proxima Centauri b. If it did have an atmosphere, and even if the atmosphere was breathable, we'd still have to overcome the violent solar radiation. If the planet was tidally locked, then living on the permanent night side and using the whole of the planet as a radiation shield may be possible. Otherwise, underground settlements might provide the protection we require from the incoming radiation. For now though, all we can do is dream. But I for one am convinced that these questions will not remain hypothetical questions forever. It's time for us to return from our short hop over to our nearest galactic neighbour, and until we take to the stars once again, thank you for watching.